Welcome back everybody to my Elden Ring Platinum walkthrough. This is where we finished last part at Fort Hate West and we're just going to be heading roughly over here now where you're going to see there's like a massive crater now we've defeated Radon. So it's going to equip my broadsword ready with uh, Blood Iron Step and yeah just trot along on your horse. There's going to be two bosses on this bit and um, we're going to be getting quite a lot of materials. I'm going into a massive lake of rot. And I look forward to the next part. Is we may be respecting our build on the next video. Possibly. We'll see how it goes. I've not actually wrote out the text for the next part yet. I'm just I'm writing the text and then recording as I go along. It's easy to remember that way. But yeah, we're headed down into Notcron Eternal City. You won't be able to take your horsey inside, you're going to have to leave him outside. Find a nice post to strap him to. Right, so you come in here, just drop down. Yeah, that's pretty much it to begin with. And the first thing we're going to pick up will be a golden rune. Yeah, you come in here, Nocron Eternal City. Yeah, this bit can be a little bit confusing because it's on. it shares the same map with Sciofa Riverwell, like it's like the upper part of it, so it can be a little bit confusing. Um, but to begin with, I try and put a few beacons down. So we're going to be going approximately here. It's going to be a golden rune, golden rune six. And then we're sort of going to come over here through a window, and we're going to drop down. And when we drop down, there's going to be another golden rune and a ghost glove what three, which we want. We're going to come north slightly. There's going to be a safe point approximately about here. A side grace, and once you get that, there's going to be a gazebo here with a ghost glufort pick a spell bearing in there, which will let us buy ghost glufort from the twin maiden husks number one and number two. I think once we give it to her, round the back of her here is going to be a somber stone four, somber smith stone four. Then after that, we're going to come along here, sort of down these steps, and over here. Can't put beacons down yet, but it's going to be a golden rune approximately here. And in this gazebo, it's going to be a lava tier, and here is going to be a boss fight. So we'll get these things, guys, and um, take it from there. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, wow, almost fell down. Commentating this one in real time, uh, which I haven't done for a while. Yes, yeah, follow my lead. Yes, yeah, a lot of these slime enemies. Sometimes they do turn into like a stronger enemy called a uh, silver tier thing. They are, if I remember correctly. Here, yep, yeah, golden rune six guys. Can't open our map, but that's where we should have put the first marker down. Um, yeah, maybe I missed it. And we continue over here, and there'll be a window. Well, that's the first marker. Yeah, in this window. And once you get through here, we're going to drop down. You should be careful where you drop down because of the full damage, and you don't want to drop into a hole. Right, once you drop down here, turn around and there'll be a golden rune 6 here. And then we want the ghost glove ward number 3, which is over here. Should be amongst these plants near the doorway. There we go, ghost glove ward number 3. Carry on down the steps and get your sight of grace. Right. About time I killed an enemy, don't you think? Which wasn't a boss. Alright, so we're going to west, rest here. And into Nocron Eternal City again. Right, so this is where we put the Sight of Grace. So just here. There we go. Ghost, Glove War, Pick a Spell, Bearing. And just before I get aggroed by enemies. So we're going to be going there next, guys. Coming down here. And approximately there is going to be a Golden Rune. In this gazebo is going to be a level tier. And like, like I say, afterwards it's going to be a boss fight in here. So let's make our way. Yeah, this boss fight is a mim mimic tier. And we're actually going to get the Ash soon. Which is identical to that. And what it does, um, when you summon it. There's a Somber Smith and Stone 4. Yeah, when you summon it, it replicates your loadout. So if you've got like a really poor weapon, he will have a poor weapon. If you're naked in your pants... The mimic tier will also be naked in his pants. So when you're summoning that ash, it all depends on what you've got equipped. You know how powerful it's going to be. Here's that golden rune. 
Um, but that talisman we started the game with, do you remember the keepsake? Shibiri's Woe. Um, it actually works really well on him, so it makes enemies aggro to him quicker. Well, because normally enemies don't aggro to your uh, summon um, until they've attacked it normally. But with him, if you make sure he's got, make sure you've got Superior Woe equipped when you summon it, and then the enemies will attack your Ash more often, and that's what's good about it. It was apparently really OP. Uh, when they first came out, I never got a chance to test it, but yeah, it's not it's not too great now. If you don't build him white, you will die really fast. But I think it's great because he's like a he takes all the aggro from the enemies if you equip him properly. Okay, so when we get a bit closer, he's going to the mimic tier boss is going to copy your loadout. So what we're going to do first, we're going to summon our Ash, and then we're going to unequip everything. Yep, unequip everything. Right, come over here and your Ash will be summoned. Well, the boss, sorry. Come over here, the boss will be summoned. Remember, make sure you unequipped basically all your right hand weapons and all your left hand weapons. Come close, yep, and he's going to copy you now. You'll see he's got blindfold on just like me and he'll have the same outfit, but he's going to be bare handed. So I'm just going to wait for him to aggro towards my Ash. Then I'm going to equip my weapons. I'm good to go. And get my shield. Right. Yeah, it's not going to be very strong. Yeah, I'm just finish him off now. Oh yeah, you can unequip your healing items, but I find... Even if you do an unequip your healing items, he always seems to heal once. What did he lob at me then? Seems like they can use your items even if you've not got them equipped. Um, it's only your weapons, I'd, but with your weapons they only use what you've got equipped. Okay, quickly equip Gold Scarab to get extra runes and you'll get our trophy guys, Mimic Tier. All right, so we're going to rest at the, sh at the, um, at the grace point. Right, just looking ahead for what is next. And I think I remember. Yeah, all right, guys. So what is going to be next? Um, so we're here. The Mimic tier sort of Grace. Over here is going to be a Scarab. We're going to kill that quickly. I'll give us a Somber Stone. All the way over here. Now just approximately about here. Let me uh, zoom in on my map. Yeah, it's going to be... This Hallow Ground, do you, if you remember much early in the game, we had to sort of fight a reindeer where we had to light the, the uh, braziers in order to make it so we can interact with it and go to its boss arena. We've got to do the same here, but now we've only got light six. First one's going to be about here. And then the second one will be over here. We'll also get a Trinus Lily beside this one. The third one's going to be here. And next to this one is a Ghost Glove Walk 4, about there. And then once we've got that one over here, it's going to be a safe point. So we'll just make our way there, guys. Uh, we'll get this Gold Scarab first. Not a Gold Scarab, Scarab. Uh, but you'll actually be able to summon your horse in a second. Once you get out of this temple. So yeah, just over here there'll be a Scarab. That's what I've got my Moon Veil equipped, so I can do a bit more damage. There you go, you get a Somber 5. Right, go back to my Blood Hand Step weapon. Right, and uh, call your horse. Yeah, so like I say guys, there's six lamps you have to light here. In order to um, be able to interact with the, the boss later. It's basically an upgraded version of that boss we fought at the bottom of this area. The Ancestral Spirit. So come all the way to the end of this broken bridge. And once you get near the end, that's normally when you have to drop off. There it is, there's the first one. Let's get that one first. And just beside here is a Trinus Lily. See, just there. So get that Trinus Lily. Carry on over here to the second one. How close is my beacon? 
Not too bad behind it. Shame you can't like this when you're on your horse. Here is flame number two. And you can see up there, there's flame number three. Now, just before this one, there should be a ghost glove wart. Here it is, just on the other side of the path. This one here. So get that. Ghost glove wart four. And there's also another Trinus lily. We might as well grab if we want to. And then come over here and get flame number three. Now, we've got flame number three over there through that little, uh, little narrow passage through the cliffs. It's a sight of grace. Right, well it's got a sight of grace. We're going to jump down here. And just make our way along here. Careful, because you do not want to fall down. Yeah, into night sacred ground. Yeah, then you have to jump onto the top of this gazebo here, this roof, this little tower. Wow, almost fell down. Well, yeah, just after I advise you not to fall down, I went and fell down myself. Yeah, so just be very careful. Make sure you're winning when you try and jump. Yeah, watch out for these enemies. Just make sure you're ready for your blood down. So loot that corpse. That's going to be a golden rune 7. And yeah, I forgot to put the beacon stand. Let's just go over here. Just make sure you grab that golden rune 7, guys. Uh, before you got to this broken wall. And we're going to jump to this window. And then we'll put a few more beacons down. Yeah, so jump to here. Drop down. Should be safe for a moment. Um, I can't actually open my map. Okay, so we'll just move on until I can open them up. Over here in this altar, there's going to be a black wet blade. Grab that one, and then come through this passage here, and you'll find a imp fog. Place one stone sword key into these imps to remove it, and now we're just going to kill that enemy quickly. Let's kill him so we can loot that chest in peace. And in here is going to be a Mimic tier. Yeah, one of the Elite Ashes. You do need this anyway for a trophy. For the um, Legendary Ashes trophy. There we go, Mimic tier Ashes. Right, once we've got that, guys. Let's try some more beacons. There needs to be a button so we can delete all these at once. Okay. So we're here. We're going to come over here, down here, and here. It's going to be a site of grace. From here, we're going to come sort of north along this path. About here, there's going to be a golden rune. There's going to be a few items here. There'll be one sort of directly below this bridge. It's not that one. It's the one just before the bridge, not the one directly below it. Uh, once you've got that, we're going to continue north. And about uh, roughly about here, there's going to be a little tower we can go inside. In fact, I think it's this one here. Yeah, it's going to be a tower. It's going to have a chest inside, which we want to loot. And once you loot that chest, just outside is going to be a portal, which will warp you back here. So we'll do that, guys. And um, then we'll up some more beacons down. Right, get your Bloodhound step ready. Yeah, you got this big wrecking ball here. They do roll into you. Should be ready to dash away. And there's a side of grace just over there, near Cliff Edge. Right, we'll get that one. Yep, so we're going to get that chest. And then we'll walk back. We'll use the portal to walk back up to the Ancestral Woods side of Grace. Yeah, so it's this item here. Not the one. Yeah, this one, Golden Rune 7. Not the one directly below the bridge, which is that one there. So yeah, get the Golden Rune 7, guys. And then continue on into that tower up ahead. Yeah, I think a giant spawned from there. Yeah, a giant spawned from that little tiny metallic slime. Yeah, loot this chest. There'll be great ghost glove wart in sight. And a finger slayer blade. And then come over here and use this portal and it warp you back up to that side of grace. Right, once you're back up here, get your horsey. And I can't open a map at the moment. Apparently, the enemy is still aggro to me. Yeah, we're heading sort of northwest. There we go. Yeah, so over here is going to be another candle. I think that's flame number four. Up here is going to be flame number five. And then we're going to sort of come along here 
And here you need to jump down with your horse, land on that little pillar. And then here's going to be another ghost club fort and another golden rune. And then after that we're going to warp to Round Table Hold. Alright, so if you come, if you keep along this um, southwest wall, you shouldn't hopefully trigger these enemies roaming around. This one over there looks like that bottom earlier, the red wolf. Um, he's too close, so I'm not going to wait for him to move. I'm just going to light that flame. And then, like I say, continue north, guys. Try to obviously evade the enemies as best you can. And there's flame number five. And as we come past, you see how the ruins over there to the west? That's where we're going to drop down to in a second. So you light this flame. I'm going to jump onto that pillar. There we go, jump onto the pillar, drop down. Get this ghost, ghost glove wart number 5, and then get this golden rune 12 around the corner. Well, it's got them guys going to warp to round table hold. Yeah, which are going to upgrade that mimic hash which we've just got um, before we go and engage the boss. Yeah, right, so um, you're going to need quite a bit of range to do this. So if you don't have any, you're just going to have to go and farm somewhere. Um, if you've got a Mogrim Palace unlocked, you can farm there really easily. I'm actually going to go and sell some runes. You also need to make sure you've got Vigor 21 in order to summon this Ash. Uh, so I'm just going to sell. Thirty thousand. And we'll go for them two as well. That should hopefully be enough. We'll see. Okay, so come over to Roderica. Greetings. And Spirit Tune, you want to go into Special Ashes. And Mimic Tier Ashes, you want to upgrade it to plus five, which you should have the necessary materials to do so. Yep, yeah, there we go. Mimic Tier Ashes is on plus five. Once you've done so, we're going to warp back to the Ancestral Woods side of Grace, just over here. I'm going to go and light the last flame and engage the Regal Ancestor Spirit. And what we also need to do is I need to level up to figure 21 because you see my HP, to summon this Ash it actually costs HP and it's 660 HP it will cost to summon it. So 21 will be 652, but 20, uh, sorry 20 will be 652, but 21 Vigor will be 680, which would just be enough. So yeah, you need to be Vigor 21 guys in order to summon this Ash. So make sure you've done that. Right, let's do it. So yeah, to continue north from flame number three from earlier, this one. And yeah, so I forgot to put the beacons down. It's pretty much there. And then we're coming over here. That's it. You'll know when you've done it because you should get a message. Just be ready to press triangle to get make the message disappear because you can't normally when the message appears. You can't dodge or anything, so it leaves you exposed. Right, so we'll interact with it, guys. And touch a horn remains. Don't use rotten breath on this fight. All you want to do is um, just keep using your rock sling. Um, but we're going to use our new ash now, so let's get ready. So we're not going to be using the Hotel the Headless no more. Mimic tear ashes. And like I say, it copies your loadout. So to begin, we want to start with Moon Veil. And the shield because it's always better with a melee weapon the the mimic tier so moon veil only in the moon veil and then shield in the other hand you don't need to put ritual sword talisman on him because that only works when your hp is at maximum and this hp is never going to be at maximum so you don't need to worry about that so what i'm going to put um yeah i'm just going to i don't want to be changing too many you don't want to be changing too many talismans during battle because it's going to leave you exposed so you want to be only be in your inventory for as little time as possible. So 
make sure you've got Shabiri's Woe equipped and you can also leave Great Shield Talisman, that would be good on him but that Graven Skull, that's mainly for me of Roxing so to make sure you've got Shabiri's Woe equipped because you can see that constantly attracts enemies aggression and then once you're ready guys, come through the fog Yeah, let's do it. So straight away we're going to summon the Mimic here. No, I've actually not got enough HP. Bloody hell. A little tiny piece. Right, summon it. Right. Just going to wait for him to be going for the Mimic here. And then I'm going to quickly load my stuff. Right, so... I've unequipped that, I'm going to replace it with Ritual Sword Talisman. I need to be quick here for my Mimic to get kills. He's still quite weak at the moment. Right, and that there. That. And the Golden Vowel Dagger. Right, let's quickly buff myself and do it. Wow, he's got half HP left. Jeez. Don't worry, once I get going, I should do quite a lot of damage to it. Right, let rip. Yeah, of course, when you it will it will most it will go for your mimic team more often than normal. It's it's just that of course when you hit it, obviously it's going to turn for you, and yeah, it will heal itself once you get once its health gets so low. Should be ready for that. Yeah, my mimic team has died already. So it's just me now, me and him. Yeah, it will keep healing himself. So you need to be quick here. And I've normally killed him by now, so I'm actually not doing that well in <laughs> this instance. Two more, I think. Before he heals himself. Yeah, he's just going to keep healing himself. So you need to obviously try and offset that by keep doing damage to him. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I think I've got him. Yeah, you find it. Wow, that was very lucky, eh? I ran out of healing items. Alright, once you've got that, you'll get the trophy. Make sure you equip your gold scarab, as always. And, yeah, we're going to warp to Rani's Rise now, guys. Uh, which is back in the... Western part of Lyurnia. There we go. Walk back here. I thought it'd be done that bit a lot quicker, actually, if I'm honest. Right, so once you get to Ranish Rise, get on your horsey and just make your way to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, make your way to the top. Yeah, Rani, at the moment, we'll talk to her and she'll give us the carrying inverted statue which we need for later and make sure you exhaust the dialogue as always and it should advance a quest line right yeah make way to the top yeah so exhaust the dialogue ah. yeah I'm just gonna spam X here Eventually, she'll tell me to get lost. And that's your cue to leave. We're going to warp to Royal Moon Gazing Grounds because it's closer to where we want to go next. Right, once you get here, we're going to warp, uh, make our way over to this tower now, just to the northwest. There'll be a warp point at the top of here, which is going to take us to Angel River. Yes, yeah, climb the ladder. Yeah, this is Renus, Renus Rice. Yeah, 
Here we go. Travel to another location. Why not? Let's see where it's going to take us. Yeah, this place we're going to now is pretty great because it, it allows us to get a lot of um, ghost glove warts, like plus six, plus seven, plus eight, plus nine, plus ten. Uh, well, great is plus ten. So in order to upgrade our ashes to maximum, make them a lot more stronger. So when you first spawn in, grab this item. Just well, you can't really tell the map's not available at the moment. Yeah, miniature Rani, miniature Rani. So grab that, guys, in that sort of empty coffin, and come over here, get the sight of grace. Now, these first few items, they are on my map, but because we don't have the map yet, you can either follow me or get the map first and then come and get them afterwards. You want to rest at the site of grace. And once you're here, come all the way down to the bottom and you'll see this dialogue. Talk to Miniature Rani and keep picking that. You won't get any dialogue to begin with, but keep picking it oh, and eventually you will. There we go. Yep, you'll get some dialogue. Keep pressing X on that to confirm until you've exhausted it all. And I think that is it. Yep, right. Once you're ready to go, guys, make sure you've got your Bloodhound Step weapon ready. And um, let's do it. Alright, so there's going to be a few items to go along the way. I can't put any beacons down because I don't have the map yet. So just follow my lead. The map is only about five minutes away. Uh, so just bear with me. Yeah, so continue south. Watch out for that massive dragonfly in the distance and make sure you're ready to dodge. And just here, next to this first lamp on the left, it's going to be a golden rune. Golden rune 7. Yeah, this pretty much fires rock slings at you. So um, just get ready to sp yeah, spam Bloodhound Step when it fires. There's these two big statues behind it. And this first one over here should get a ghost glove Wart 7 and a ghost. Whoa, yeah. Ghost Glove Fort 6 and then Ghost Glove Fort 7. We'll be careful because these guys with the staffs can do a lot of damage. Up here is a Ghost Glove Fort 7 again. Grab that one. And then once you've got that, guys, go southwest and follow the river down. Keep dashing. Yes, because that dragonfly is going to keep lobbing them at you until you get a safe distance away. Down this river, just follow it all the way down. And then at the bottom, there's going to be some items we're going to pick up. Let's watch out for these ants. Yeah, now I think this is a glitch, but this item here, it's got Golden Rune 10 times 8. This one here. What is going on? Seems to be doing a gesture. Yeah, look at that. Golden Rune 10 times 8. I don't know why that happens. I think that might be some sort of glitch. Why it gives you 8. So it should be 1. Um, but I'm not complaining. So yeah, grab that Golden Rune. And then come over here and grab this Gold Glove Wart 6. Once you've got that, come over here into this doorway. And this should take us down to the site of grace. And then once we've got the site of grace, we're going to head back and go and get the um, map. Yes, yeah, Noxtella, Eternal City. Yep, so get out of the site of grace, guys. You can rest. And then once you've got it, just head towards this waterfall. And you'll find a ladder leading back up where we just dropped down from. It looks like you can't get back up, but you can. Yeah, so make way back up here and back into the ant nest. Back up the river. Yeah, what, what we're doing now, pretty much, we're just exploring this area. We're going to defeat an optional boss here. Which you need to do for trophy wise, trophy purposes. Getting a few items along the way. A few more items needed for trophies. And um, then we'll get to round table hold. And like I say, in the next video, guys, we're going to be fighting a boss. And then after that, I think we might be respecking. I've not quite decided yet. But when we beat that boss, we'll be ready to um, get the weapon. We're going to pretty much finish the rest of the game with. Um... Well, I've not normally got it this early before, so we may have to respec a few sort of back to mage and then back again but we'll see we'll see in the next video so yeah massive dragonfly again you want to come down here into these ruins and drop down here into into the river which you're already here and then once you get down here you need to head back out here and on the south corner of this floor there'll be a ledge you can drop down to safely underneath where that dragonfly was and then in here is going to be the herm a hermit merchant over there 
and a map. Finally, guys, we got the map. Okay, so um, we started here. We've come down here and got that. Then we've come along here. So next, we're going to come over here. Now, around here, it's going to be an item. Uh, Smith and Stone 3 on the upper level. And then we're going to drop down. And there's going to be Sight of Grace just below it. They're going to come down here. Here's going to be a nest. There's going to be two items we want to collect here. It's the two items which are closest to each other. They're the ones we want. Then once we've got them, we're going to continue south west up here. Over here is going to be a boss fight. And then once we kill that boss, we're going to loot the item in this chest and then walk back over here. So yeah, just follow the wall to the southwest. And you'll find normal Smith and Stone 3 times 3 on this corpse. There we go. Grab them. Drop down here. And there's the Sight of Grace. So get a sight of grace, rest. Probably should level up, shouldn't I, because of all my runes. I'll level up when we get to the next one. Yeah, so here's the there. So it's them two items on the left, the ones that are closest together. Quickly loot them two. Immunizing, immunizing horn charm, and um, smith is staying two times three. Yeah, grab them guys and then head north, follow the river north and it will take you to a big open area with a massive cedar statue. And the boss does not spawn to begin with, but once you get close enough, that's when it will trigger. But luckily, you can summon your ash before the boss appears, so you can, you can sort of get ready if you're low down. And remember, with the mimic tier, you need to make sure you've got Sabrewis well equipped before you summon it. And then when you summon it, wait until it's safe to do so. And then unequip it. So you, d you don't want you don't want both of you to have it equipped at once because then the boss is going to be aggro to you both. You want only your ally, your mimic to have it equipped because then it'll be aggro to him more often. All right, so uh, let's get ready. So again, unequip all your melee weapons and equip only your best one because that's what we want him to be using. Equip that, and yeah, we're gonna have to heal up here because I don't have enough HP. Right, get a bit further forward until you see the prompt. The prompt should have appeared by now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, summon it. That's pretty late. Right, it's going to get a safe distance away. And then quickly before he gets killed. Right, that's some of my buffs ready. Yeah, always heal up first after summoning him because you have no HP left. Right, let's do it. Let's finish him off quickly. It's quite a large enemy, so your rock stings, they have a good chance of hitting him because he's such a large target. That's it, got him. Get your gold scarab equipped, ready. That's it, so you get more. Yeah, get that trophy, Dragonkin Soldier of Noxtella. Right, it's going to go over here. That's the last boss we have to fight in this video, guys. The rest of it is just a bit of exploring and um, advancing through the game. Right, so let's um, equip that. Yeah, loot this chest. It'll be a great ghost glove wart. I only, I only max upgrade um, two Mimic tier, so other than that, it's completely up to you. Right, so um, once you've got that, I'm going to walk back to Noxtella Eternal City. Yeah, it's going to be quite a lot to collect now, <laughs> so um, yeah, try and pay attention. Alright, so I'm just going to level up. Get rid of these runes that I've got, because you may die a little bit here. Okay, so level up. Yeah, I'm going to level up Intelligence. Right, so first of all, guys, going to head this way. North, we're going northwest. So just be ready to dodge enemies with Bloodhound Step. Yeah, it's so got the river over here. We're going to get that plant first. This one here, Ghost Glove Water 7 times 1. We're going to follow this wall on the left, on the southwest, but do not go up the stairs. Just follow it. 
and just tucked beneath the bridge should find another ghost glove water eight there we go and then straight opposite it on the opposite side of the water will be another one there we go another ghost glove water eight now carry on back to the sort of south west part of the wall and follow it around and not through there no just around the side to the cliff and you'll along the cliff you'll find a somber smith and stone eight there we go on a corpse uh, sorry a somber smith and stone seven on a corpse grab that and then continue this way and in here will be an elevator so come in here and through here will be an elevator sorry we should have put beacons down i forgot yeah so this is where we just came uh, we just that's a site of grace there was a plant here yep there's a plant here then there's one straight opposite here yep and then we came along here and that somber smith stone was just there and then we come along here and this is where a lift was okay so down here it's going to be a site of grace yeah sorry i forgot to put beacons down so get a site of grace and then once it's got that we're going to warp back to there Noxtella Eternal City and we're going to grab a few more items so once you're back here right so what we're going to do now we're going to head up these steps now and in here is going to be a one of the bells which will let us purchase more items from the twin maidens so we're going to go in there get the chest you're going to come back on here on the corner here it's going to be a golden rune 10 you're going to come up here go along the bridge now at this side of the bridge going to be another golden rune 10 up here it's going to be massive wrecking ball and just on these steps hanging over a railing for the steps it's a corpse with another golden rune 10 over here it's going to be a chest in this room and in this chest it's a summer smith and stone 7 i think it is if i remember which we can get once it's got that come out this doorway and there'll be a scarab this scarab will have another somber smith and stone i forget which one it is might be five uh, once it's got that come up here into this room and in here is going to be a trophy related talisman i think it's which we need there'll be a chest there once got that we're going to come out here there'll be an elevator just here and that let us get to this ledge where's a golden seed once got that golden seed we're going to warp back to here yeah when you get this chest there's going to be some tough enemies here so we're going to open this chest and straight away we're going to quit the main menu and then reload to de-aggro the enemies uh right yeah it looks like my um, beacon disappeared yeah my beacon disappeared from here yeah just here we're going to go into this room first guys and uh, get a chest it's up the second set of steps so you've got this first step this first set which is here there's that room there no it's not that one it's up this second bunch so all the way to the top here and then take a tight left amongst all these metallic tears slimes and it's that chest over here quickly open it if you can loot it that's it get a ghost glove for pick a spell bearing two Yeah, try and keep your health topped up here so you can get sort of spammed attacked here by these. Yeah, on this corner, this that corner I said, Golden Rune 10. Don't know where my beacon is for that. And on this bridge, it's going to be another Golden Rune 10. You see the Wrecking Ball in the distance? Yeah, on this corpse, another Golden Rune 10. Get past this Wrecking Ball. Careful, so it will charge at you eventually. Wow, well, well, okay, it's blocking, blocking the path. Yeah, on this corpse here, there's a golden rune ten. There we go. And I come to the top here, and this is that room. Yes, yeah, gonna be chess at the end with a somber smith and stone. Seven. Yeah, massive wrecking ball up there as well. You can see it about to drop down on me if you go directly below it. Yeah, so loot that. Summer Smith and Stone 7. Come out here. Yeah, it's going to be a Scarab. There it is. Yeah, and that should drop a Summer Smith and Stone 6. I was one off. I said 5, it was a 6. Alright, so make sure you got health guys and um, some FP ready to dodge yeah so you want to get in that room behind it as soon as you start opening the chest we're going to quit and reload quickly 
Yeah, so you might want to practice that. You might want to practice doing that quickly because doing it quickly, it's quite difficult. You need to practice it. Uh, but once you practice it and just get the buttons down, you know, knowing how many menus you have to go through and what you need to press, it's quite quick to do. So I did it quite quick then, but when I first started doing it, it, it took me literally probably like 10 seconds to do that. Uh, but yeah, once you're doing that, you'll see it de the enemies. There you go, they de and the chest will be opened. So look at that, the moon of Nox Stella. Right, and take this door on the right. And it will lead you down to another elevator, another tower, and then that will take us down to that golden seed. I still don't think I've got enough golden seeds to increase my capacity. I don't think so. This part's a lot longer than I expected it to be. 40 minutes. Wow. I feel like I waste a lot of time placing speakers down on the map. There we go. Golden Sea, guys. Once you've got that, warp back to Noxter warp Waterfall Basin. We're almost done, actually. Not much more to do now. Okay, once you spawn here, uh, just behind us, I'm not going to put beacon down to this. Yeah, just behind us to the northeast is a Ghost Glufford 9. Okay, all we're going to do now is... Yeah, I can't put, can't put any beacons down. Just follow this path. And there's going to be a sort of invader. You have to kill this invader. It's part of a quest line. Um, but as long as you picked up that miniature doll and exhausted that dialogue, you know, talking to miniature Rani at the, at the site of Grace, this MC invader should appear. But he's, he's weak to um, rot, so it works pretty well on this guy. Yeah, use rotten breath on him to begin with. And that'll give you a great start, a great head start. There we go, right. I'm just going to buff myself now. Once himself gets so low, he'll try and heal himself. Might get a good distance away. And hopefully my rock slings will hit more often. Yeah, he, once his health gets about half, he'll try and heal himself. We do do quite a lot of damage, especially with that rotten breath. Helps a huge amount. And he's pretty much toast now. I say you can use the Gold Scarab, but you don't really get many wounds from him. Yep, yeah, you should get the discarded, I think it's discarded palace key it's called. Yep, yeah, there you go, discarded palace key. Gonna need that later to get a quest item. Yeah, once you've got that, just continue sort of south through this doorway and onto this elevator. Right, back to my Bloodhound Step weapon. Down here, get a sight of Grace. And carry on to the south and you'll find the map. There we go, map lake of rot. Now one thing which is going to get first before we do anything else, just over here, where I put that bacon, it's going to be a summer smithy stone. So it's going to go and get that next. So quickly get that and then walk back to that site of grace. Yeah, Sombre Smithy Stone 8. There we go. Sorry, I picked it up pretty quick. Didn't get a chance to see what it was. Yeah, Sombre Smithy Stone 8. That was. Walk back here. Right, what we want to do now is interact with the site of grace. No, not enough. And yeah, you want to put everything. Not everything. I mean, you do want to keep a few flasks. Maybe, maybe keep... You want 10 red and 2 blue, just in case. Yep, and you also want to memorize, make sure you got flame, uh, which one is it? Flame cleanse me memorized. Yeah, make sure you got flame cleanse, cleanse me memorized. Now, what you want to do, when you equip all that, you want the seal in your left hand, and you want the weapon with blood hand step in your right. And also, you want to make sure you've got this equipped, it. immunizing horn charm. Got that equipped, just increase your immunity a little bit. And what the plan is, is to always have 
flame cleanse me ready to be used and also our weapon out so we can also always use bloodhound step and basically got to go across this lake but it inflicts rot and it's massive so um, we're just going to have to try and offset it with um, healing and flame cleanse me okay so we're going to put the place we're going to go now and um, let me just zoom into my map here Yep, yeah, so over here is going to be a pressure plate we want to stand on. Yeah, just about here. And then there's going to be another pressure plate approximately here. And then there'll be another pressure plate about there. There's another one here, but we don't want to touch that one yet. Yeah, so here where this beacon, do not touch that pressure plate, not yet. So all you want to do, get this plate, get this plate, get this plate, and then come over to Zill Passage. And then down here, it's going to be a sight of grace. That's all you want to do. And what you can do each time you get to a plate, because you'll be on land, you can try and probably cure the rot with flame cleanse me. And also, when you press these plates, it'll make land appear. And you can try and just go on them. It'll just get you across a bit faster. Okay, guys. So once you're ready, let's go. Yeah, there's the first plate, just to the southwest. Remember, do not roll in these either, because if you roll, it will... Um... Yeah. If you roll in a swamp, it will cause you to be drenched and then rot will keep inflicting even afterwards. Even after you leave the swamp. Yeah, so we've got our first plate. There's the second. There's the third one over there. You can see the um, beacon. Yeah, I'm going to get inflicted here, definitely. Scarlet Rot. Yeah, just be ready to heal. Yeah, we get this one. Right, so you see that one just over there in the distance? It's just above my head. Leave that pressure plate until later. All we want to do now is head over to that doorway, that passage between them two statues yeah just make sure you're ready to heal up guys I have forgot a few times and just died yeah so as soon as you get out of the swamp cure it with flame cleanse me Right, so down to Sight of Grace next. I go up there just to get a Sombra Smith and Stone 9. Yeah, so we get a Sight of Grace. And we, we are pretty much done, actually. We're just going to get a Sight of Grace. We're going to get a Smith and Stone. Head back to Round Table Hold. Upgrade our Mimic tier. And yeah, pretty much done. So get a Sight of Grace. Just make sure you rest to restock your flasks. In case you're getting low. Okay, so we're going to go and get that last... Yeah, that last uh, pressure plate, which was about here. And um, just about over here is going to be Somber Smithy Stone 9 at the top. Now, if you do go up this and fall off or dive for whatever reason, along here is a slope. You can get up, there'll be like a path going up. You can get up here and then there'll be a ladder which will lead to the top here. So if you do fall off to get back up, you have to come over here, guys, and climb up the cliff. But all we're going up for is a Somber Smithy Stone 9. And once you've got this, we're going to warp to round table hold. Yeah, so over to that pressure plate. Wow, 50 minutes. Tastes longer than you think, this game, just the exploring. I mean, I've, I've, <laughs> I've spent so much time exploring, I've not really killed much, have I? Yeah, right, once you get to the top, just in that far northeast corner of this upper... Oh, yeah. That's what you need to make sure you keep an eye on, guys. Your Scarlet Rot. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do a quick edit. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't watch your Scarlet Rot meter. Yeah, but what I'll do... I'll actually show you the other way up now. Yeah, so that's where it was. The um, pressure plate that took us up. But yeah, just come to the east... And there'll be a slope in a minute so you can go up and there'll be a ladder. Yeah, just remember when you get out of Scarlet Rot, to cure it and to heal. 
Yep, here we go. Here's a ramp. I remember that time. You learn from your mistakes. Yeah, and that's the first time I've made that mistake. Right, climb ladder. Yeah, this is a long way. Yeah, there will be like a sort of boss type enemy that which, which will spawn here. So we just want to quickly be ready to evade past him. And um, then you can warp away. He doesn't normally aggro after. If I get to the corner where the smith stone is, he doesn't normally aggro onto me. Yeah, this guy will spawn. Yes, yeah, so just bloodhound step past him. And yeah, he doesn't seem to follow you. Get, yeah, get a somber smith stone. Five, uh, sorry, nine. There we go. And uh, yeah, do not drop down here. It will kill you. Trust me, I've tried it. Yeah, right, in a minute, I should be able to warp away. Because last time I was here, I just, yeah, yeah, there we go. Kept spamming the button and he de -aggroed. Okay, so that's all we're doing here, guys. All we're going to do now, warp to round table hold. Upgrade the mimic tier. And we're all good. Yeah, upgrade the mimic tiers plus 10. And that will make it much better in battle. It will survive much longer. Yeah, come and talk to Roderica. Greetings. Spirit tune, yeah, so um, just keep upgrading it. It's going to need quite a lot of runes. Yep, yeah, alright. I'm going to need 25,000, I think it is. You need 14,000 for the last, and I need 10,400 for current. So, um, how many do I have? Okay, so I'm just going to use that. Numerous rune. I always thought you got 20,000 from that, but it seems not the case. Okay, so we're going to use one of them, sell one of them, and sell that. And that should be enough. Really? 189. Wow. <laughs> okay, so um, I just need to use the golden rune one. Because they give you so much. I'm loaded. I hope you don't die. That's a lot of runes to lose. Alright, Mimic Tier is now level 10, guys. Alright, so what we're going to do now, ready for the next video, we're going to warp over to here to Raya Lucaria Grand Library in the Academy. Warp over there, guys, and then we'll leave it there. Yeah, so we may respect. If you want to respect, this is actually where you do it. You talk to uh, Rinala in the middle there, and she'll let you respect. It does cost a level tier. And how many do I have? I have Curiosity. Yeah, where are they? I think they're in the consumable section. Yeah, where's my low, uh, level tiers? Oh, there they are. I've got five. I've got five at the moment. We do get one or two more later. Uh, so five of them. Uh, yeah, alright guys. So we'll leave it there for that part. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on part 11.